So they would so that that they that would happen for everything. So what so say if it's a situation where it was licensed, right? Say it's like because you know you got like um what do you have out here like uh SoundCloud, Epidemic Music, all these other stuff, right? That people right. use for YouTube, right? Um, so say it's like that situation, they got a license to use different music from the site. How right. does it work then? Is it a situation then where they still do get revenue, but then revenue is apportioned off to say the the content creator of the of the video itself then well that in that, that, that situation that sort of depends like like let's say like i i had somebody um i think it was like last week they uh licensed a track from me okay because they're a little indecisive of what they wanted what they want to like lock in with music wise so they're like you know i i need something but you know it doesn't have to belong to me yet so I'm just going to license some music, you know, and not only can several people license that same track, different people can can license that same track, but that's that's just a yearly lease. Like so someone leased it for $30, okay? That's for a year. Next year they if they if they want it, if they want to still use it, they have to lease it again for another $30. But that's that's like once you lease it, you have you have permission to use it, right to it. Mhm. Mm whatever mm, so you lease it so then you so that ad revenue would come straight to you at that point but after that year at that point the pro would say hey 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 i'm tracking you and your, your lease is up so now the ad revenue will go back to the the to the origin of the person that produced the song well in in a in a leasing situation one once that person makes like say say for you say say you lease a track for me okay one, once you pay me for leasing my music mm -hmm. you've already paid me Okay. You, you 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 just put it on your video and that's it. So now here's the thing. If you if you get um if you get ads run on your video, mm -hmm. you will get those that the um the ad money from that. I've I've already been paid. Now of course there there's a way that I can set it up to where, you know, where my music is played, I could get additional, you know, like an additional portion from whatever ads are run on your um on your video mm -hmm. but there there's a way to set that up as well but as far as um as far as like somebody else being paid outside of that the people who are being, being paid is either you or me it, mm. and it, it pretty much stops there so but after that one year lease how would it work because we, i only leased it for a year right i leased it right. for 30 dollars for the year right. so right. after the year when they're still running the ads on this video then at that point in time then it, the, the ad revenue goes directly to you at that time well, you 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 could just lease it. You could either lease it again, or mm -hmm. or I can um I can make sure that my music is uh, positioned to where the digital tracker like it, there, there's an agency that that does it. I I, I mentioned the performance right organization, mm -hmm. but the digital tracker for like YouTube it, that mainly does it online. Make sure that my music is um that digital file is registered with that agency. Mm -hmm. And and every time that is tracked, it it would operate that way to where whatever ads are run on, on your video, you will get a portion of that ad money, and I would get a portion of the ad money to where it would like come to me for you using my music for three seconds or whatever. Mm, okay, so that so then in that situation, that's all a part of that original lease agreement though that you have, so that it, that the, it's an understanding that the artist is getting a portion of ad revenue. The content creator gets a portion of ad revenue that's and that's correct. how it goes all yeah. the way through that's pretty interesting yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that i mean i think <laughs> that's a i think that's a completely different route to go i mean for you for for you i'm gonna call you starving artists you're not starving artists though right. right you're just you just haven't yet tapped into the reality that there's so much abundance out there right i know y'all sure. are on youtube i know y'all see all these people i know y'all could probably reach out to some of these people and say you got some you got some red bars on your video because you got copyright claims. I know right. you do. I really do yeah. know you do. You know what I'm saying? Well, I actually create music and I can license some music for you. You going to get paid up front for whatever music you producing, right? Whatever y'all right. agreement is. Then you also going to be able to get some music rev I mean some ad revenue on the back end. Like 
that sounds awesome to me. Like yeah. I, I'm, tr- I need to finish learning how to play the piano. So I need to take <laughs> Kashif's one-on-one piano training course. Okay, so I can right. finish learning piano, so that I can pack my way into some background music and pack my way into working with some of y'all on y'all YouTube stuff. Okay, that's what that's hey. what I feel. That's what I feel like right now. Okay, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like doing. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. That, that's some great information though, because I feel like there's probably people who. Don't know anything about that, you know, from mm-hmm. not as just the musician side, but even the content creator side, right? Of right. you know what? Now this gives their mind an opportunity to kind of think through some stuff and say, okay, there's some different opportunities of how I can explore doing some things. Cause you guys are probably going to the same places a lot of other people are going to when you got people all around you who make original pieces of music. That's right. Who you That's can right. act, you can have an intro that nobody else has, and That's they right. can never have it. Because you actually bought it out right, right? You know what I'm yeah. saying? You own it, right? You know what I mean? Thanks for watching the Line and Lambo podcast. We hope this clip has been a huge blessing to you. And we want to remind you that we drop new videos, new podcast episodes every Sunday at 9 o'clock. You can find the full episode by clicking the card up at the top right of this video. If you prefer our audio-only experience, then we want to let you know that we're streaming through every major podcast streaming platform. For the full list, you can go to www.lionandalambo.com. Until next time, go impact the world.